Hello everyone, this is Enea here. Today I'll teach you how to draw Metatrans cube in Affinity Designer. Metatrans cube is a well-known figure in sacred geometry. It represents balance and spiritual growth. So we are going to get started. So we go to file and we create a new document and we give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click create. And then we're going to add some center guides. So we go to view guides and we add horizontal and vertical center guides. And then we need to activate the snapping. So we go here to snapping. So we enable snapping. Here we enable snap to guides. And here we enable snap to object bounding boxes and include bounding box midpoints. And here at candidates, we set it to all layers. And then we're done with the snapping. Then we go ahead and we select the ellipse tool. We set the fill to known, the stroke to black. And we set the stroke width to two pixels. And then we go ahead and we draw a circle and we give it 300 by 300 pixels in dimensions. And then we take the move tool and we take the circle and we center it in the middle of the composition. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate. And we move it upwards so that the lower point of the duplicated circle match the upper point of the first circle. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate again. And then we select the two upper circles so as you can see on the figure, we are going to need six pairs of these two circles. So we go here to enable transform origin and we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And we press Ctrl J to duplicate. And then we are going to need six of this pair of circles. So that means that they need to be spaced by 60 degrees. And then we press Ctrl J again one more time until we have all the circles that we need. So now we have all the circles that we need in the figure. We just need to connect the midpoints of the circles. So we are going to do this with the pen tool. We set the fill to none, the stroke to black, and we set the stroke width to 1.5 pixels. And then we start connecting the midpoints of the outer round of circles. So we choose snap at the midpoint of the circle. And then we are going to connect the midpoints of the inner round of circles like this. So once we are done, we are going to connect the remaining midpoints of the outer round of circles. So this one with this one, with this one, and then this one with this one, with this one. And then we need to make the ones on the opposite sides. So now all the midpoints of the circles of in the outer round are connected with each other. So now we need to connect the circles in the inner round of circles. So this one with this one with this one with this one. And then this one with this one, with this one, with this one. So now all the midpoints in the inner round of circles are connected with each other. So each midpoint in the inner round of circles must have six connections. And now we need to connect each midpoint of the inner round of circles with the midpoints of the outer round of circles on the opposite side, so like this. So we must do this for all the midpoints. So this one with this one. And back here. And then this one with this one. And then we connect to here. And then we go back to the midpoint. And then this one with this one. And then we go back to the midpoint. And then the last one with this one, with this one, and then back to the midpoint. So now we created all the connections that we need, so the figure should be complete. So if you've done it correctly, all the midpoints in the circles in the outer round must have seven connecting lines. 
and the midpoints of the circles in the inner round of circles must have 10 connecting lines and the circle in the middle must have 6 connecting lines. So now the figure is complete, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time, bye!